Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Commission Gamer YouTube channel and today what we are going to be doing is taking a look at a brand new game, or at least new to me anyway, so let's take a look at F122 Manager. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we're going to get right on into the game here, so we're going to go take a look at the facilities here in a bit. Uh, I've been playing this for a little bit, trying to figure out how things work, and we are set up for qualifying. And then we're going to go into the race. We're going to fast forward through most of it. This is just uh, just having fun playing through it. Just not really taking it that seriously at the moment, but uh, we'll try and take it seriously at some other time. But just trying to figure out how everything works and trying to see how things progress. So, anyways, here we go. We got stuff set up for qualifying, and we got lots of options. So obviously, we have a reserve driver. He's ready to go. Uh, when necessary, we got the tire compounds that we can select before each session. Uh, car parts, we can switch some of these out uh, if we want to and see if there's any uh, performance that are good. Ooh, rear wing of the design. Hello. Does that improve anything? Ooh, hello. Interesting. There's one rear wing. That would help us out with some uh, some speed there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that, that existed. Checking through the rest of these, see if there's any other parts I might have missed. And so, like, uh, we've been improving parts and stuff throughout, so that's good. Okay, interesting. Really, really good. All right, so checking that out. Car setup. So currently. Uh, we got uh, Mick here, Mick Schumacher, with Haas. He's very happy with his uh, overall driver confidence in the setup. Done a really, really good job. Don't want to really mess that up too much, as he seems to be doing really good with that one. And uh, run plan. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get him set up for two flying laps. We're going to take off the cool down laps just to uh, save some time in qualifying. So we got all that taken care of. We got uh, Magnuson here. He's got a 92% confidence rating in his setup, so we're, I don't think we're t moving anything around with that, right? Nope, because that's like really, really good. No need to mess with that. And let me see here. There's one other real wing design here, and currently this is installed on both. This is real wing 2, and you can see a little bit of difference. It's not that much, but... A difference of is a difference. But also, I don't want to put that on there since he hasn't had time to test it. So, we're going to skip that. <clears throat> Check out. That looks all good. Run plan. We're going to do two laps. No cool down. So, let's get into the qualifying session here and see what these guys can do. Alright, so here we are. So, we can send these guys anytime we want to. Now, currently, you can see the track uh, rubber is low, but the, tr the track grip is really good. So, we're going to kind of wait here for a second. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and put Schumacher out. Get a nice little cut animation here. Everybody's getting the car ready to go. And then he'll pop out. There he is. We're going to wait till the end of the session to put Magnuson out because that will give us a little bit more track rubber down. And that should help him out uh, with the grip on the track. So, really nice graphics all things considered uh, for this game you get tons of information so right now uh, usually for the first qualifying session I will leave them in automatic mode let them take care of stuff as much as they want uh, but you do have like car condition you can check in that see how everything is warming up and stuff looks good you can go through there see we got some pretty big wear on the engine and the ERS so we're gonna have to uh, Probably work on that here soon. Taking a look at the car in the car. We can call in the car and uh, wave him off from doing his qualifying lap. We're going to let him keep on doing it though. Over here, we can reconfigure why we're waiting if we wanted to. Not real, not not really a need to do that. But plenty of cams uh, that we can switch between. We can ride on board. See, he's warming up his tires, which is really cool. Right back here, you see the nice. Really, really good cameras all the way through. And then obviously, uh, my favorite, the track cam. Then 
then we can obviously just watch on the mini map we can watch this we can also uh, fast forward time here let him get his two laps in and we'll just watch and see where he pops on uh, the leaderboard here I think he's behind Albon yep so there's Albon's lap uh, we're top oh, well we were top of the charts <laughs> everybody else went out and qualified all right falling down he's gonna do one more lap and didn't make anything on that one but mostly just to help him get more acclaimed uh, acclimated to the track and also more setup time it to my mind seems like that's best so he's gonna come in now and pit so we're gonna go slow down time here and we're gonna pop out of the track see him in here so we're gonna now work Did I pause things no I didn't okay hold on I fast forward a time don't want to do that all right so we can come in here <clears throat> and uh, redo his stuff so he's got these soft tires in here now we could let those cool off and he could take another run uh, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not so currently he's safe by a second a one six is what he's currently safe by cutoff position is 15th he's currently eighth not that many people have qualified though so we need to keep an eyeball on that uh, exit of that for right now car parts we can put some different car parts on there if we wanted to we're not going to do that uh, car setup he's liking it where it is I don't see any real reason to mess with that any uh, two flying laps will give him one flying lap that will let him do just so that he can get out there and get going uh, run plan Yep, that all looks about right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. We haven't been making it to the second round, so I'm just going to let him have the safe, the uh, the uh, soft tires that he has. They're going to cool off. They're going to be a little bit more worn in, so potentially he could get some better grip. It's just one of those gamble things that we're going to do. But that way, we're not uh, spending up all of our tires like we have been the last few qualifying sessions and haven't had anything to show for it. So might as well save some tires and just get uh, the data that we need for it so taking a look at the uh, minimap not too many people on track right now so that's really cool Vettel just went out we got uh, a few guys pitting here watching all of that Mick Schumacher is currently in where is he at he's currently 11th so we're going to let this session go on here a little bit. Fast forward, see what everybody else does. A few more guys coming in to pit road. So currently this is peak time to send out Magnuson. So we're going to go ahead and get him out there. And you say why? Because uh, there's nobody currently in front of him. And there's not going to be many people behind him. And so this is going to give him uh, plenty of opportunity to get out there and... Uh, Plus also the track's been warmed up just a little bit, so obviously we're going to let him do what he needs to. Fast forward here, uh, Vettel's going hard out of the gate, so we'll see how well that works for him. Interesting uh, strategy by Vettel, All right, Magnussen got around him, so here comes Magnussen's lap, and he slots in just above Schumacher, so I got him set up for two laps see what that does and didn't get any better all right so there was we didn't do any adjustments we're gonna see what Magnuson uh, has to say about his car so in he comes we're gonna slow down time go back to the track and we'll take a look at what he's got Schumacher he's he's happy with his car I don't want to mess that mess around with that so we're not gonna do any adjustments we're not gonna send him back out because he's probably not gonna be able to get a better lap time anyways Alright, so he's in. Let's take a look at what we got. Alright, tires, car parts, car setup. Let's see what we got. So he's getting pretty confident in that. As I said, we could mess around with this, but I really just don't want to mess with that being at 92%. We're gonna give uh gonna give Magnuson flying laps here. And let him go out one more time. He's had the best lap time, so we're going to give him another lap time. Go ahead and send him out right now. Nobody else is on track right now. 
And it looks like we have both cars locked into the next round. Sweet, haven't had that happen before, so good move not wasting Schumacher's time. We can take a look at his car in the next round and see what we can do. Very nice. So here we go with the times. We've got a 115.85 is the fastest. And all times 117, 17, 117, uh, 39. So I doubt we make it out of this next round, but uh, we can definitely try. So we're going to take a look at this setup here. There's not much we can do with the setup. we got great, good, oversteer. We can try some front wing, see if that can, let's see, we got oversteer, hmm, oversteer, okay. So maybe go down on that some, would help. As I said, just, I don't, I don't want to mess around with that if I don't have to, so. Alright, let's, uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and simulate this just so that we can get to the race, we'll see what the guys are able to do. Uh, I was called away or something for a big team meeting, so here we go. Completed and completed. Let's see what we got. Alright, so... Not too bad. Got, got a little bit better than uh, McLaren, so hey. We'll take that win. That's nice. So we're going to head on to the race here. The grid is packed, so there's electricity in the got air. some nice cutscenes. Or different it's people talking time. and stuff, so that's pretty cool. You got all of the race commentating the happening. They can make it work for them. Did well and then they also they cover the news stories of what's going on at the different uh, teams and a stuff as well. It's not just you getting talked about, it's a bunch of other guys getting talked about as well, which also is a pretty neat thing. Alright, so taking a look at uh, what we can expect, going to be partly cloudy. For the majority of the race is what it looks like here. So we'll have to see if that ends up doing any uh, rain. So we also have this right here. So these are obligations for our sponsors to try and do uh, different things. We're going to try for fast slap. That's probably not going to happen. But we also have a qualifying position streak or finishing position streak. And uh, none of those we've been able to do so far, which pretty uh pretty accurate. I uh, can come down here now. Uh, what we can do for the first round of uh, practice, we can switch out our drivers and put in um, our, our reserve driver to help him get his stats up. And so uh, that's pretty neat. So taking a look at strategy, we got our suggested strategy of the race. So Schumacher, not as good as Magnussen. We got um, ooh, good hard stint with a soft stint. I like that one. Give him... Give him that. Okay, we got his strategy set up there pretty easy. Uh, how many laps are we running here today? 63 laps. Good, Matt, but I think it's a pretty fast course. Uh, he's going to be saving for the first part of the race anyway, so that'll be good. Driving options. We're going to let him do that, but we're going to make him conserve fuel, so let him just keep the pace nice and normal. Normal on the uh, ERS pretty cool all right taking a look at uh, Magnuson here his suggested uh, we can start him off on medium switch the hard or do three stops not really my uh, not my thing there or we could just leave it open put him on softs and then just make up the strategy as we go along uh, that's certainly a strategy <laughs> that's a that's a pretty interesting one we can also add new strategy that's interesting okay uh, I'm gonna go with we're gonna start them off with mediums and then go to hards I think that's a pretty good one uh, in my opinion just because he'll have some good speed for the first part of the run he's gonna have those hard tires on that's gonna let him be able to coast through the laps around 25 to 50 and then he should have plenty of tire and the tire should be warmed up in an optimal uh, optimum should be at optimal temp at around uh, around the end of the race so that should work out pretty good take a look at compound just was locked at the fuel gonna leave him gonna give him a little extra fuel he seems to burn through a little bit extra so we'll give him an extra extra lap of fuel 
uh, pace, fuel usage. We're going to let him be aggressive at the start. Another reason why we gave him some extra fuel and uh, see what he can do. So let's head to the start of the race. Now we should have good weather for the race and that will be welcome news for the teams. There we see Kevin Magnuson. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. And it's Schumacher as the second driver today. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. The race start is mere seconds away. The Lots crowd nice are on their feet scenes. in anticipation of this, the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Alrighty, so there we go. Cars are off. So we'll just watch this for a little bit, and then we're going to switch over into um, basically just watching mode. So we're going to watch these guys. You can see how aggressive the cars are and stuff. You got all the traffic. Everybody got uh, single fire there pretty quick on this course, but it's a fast one, so that kind of helps. See Magnuson there. He's in the top 15. We'll switch over to watching him, and he's right there. Moved up to uh, 13th there. Sweet. Actually, I think I was watching the wrong driver. Yep, watching the wrong driver. That's what was going on. All right, and so we can watch all along here as uh, the laps go by. We'll be able to see where that tire is wearing and uh, see if we're going to actually make it to the window, which is a really cool graph to be able to watch. And uh, we can tell Magnuson to slow it up if we need him to. Obviously, let him burn some extra fuel. We can watch that gauge right there and kind of see how that's uh, going. Ooh, somebody locked up somewhere. Ah, Russell. Bye-bye, Russell. Was that a lock-up on the track? Yep, so uh, that's what we saw there. So that's pretty cool. You have the off and on events. The uh, radio stuff is pretty cool, honestly. It's very intermittent when it works, though, is what I've noticed. Uh, but when it does, the interaction seems to be pretty well done. Very short and sweet, like I would expect it to be in a race. But uh, very clear as to what's going on. So. That's pretty neat as well. Yeah, you can slowly see that graph start moving. That's kind of showing us where our tires is uh, run uh, wearing, and really let us know how far that tire is going to go. So that's pretty neat there. All right, I'm going to switch over into this mode right here, and we're going to start uh, accelerating time. We're going to get a notification once we hit the pit window, but uh, this just allows us to get this race over with a little bit more quickly and in a timely fashion. Currently. Uh, DRS is now enabled, so that's good to know. Uh, we can watch all of our drivers all sitting around the same position. No real change. Russell's stuck in the back. And so, really, it's super early in the race. I'm not a big fan of making my drivers push it when uh, there's really nothing to push for at the moment. Seems to have been a lock up. You have some Magnuson locked up there a little bit. So a bit of an issue for him. But still 13th and 14th, so running about where we started, so that's good to know. So we're watching how much fuel we have, too. And you can see Schumacher, he's saving up the fuel pretty good Sounds there. Like up. And also, the notifications for when stuff happens uh, are a little bit that's delayed, especially when you. Uh, yeah, so when you uh, quicken stuff up, notifications of what's happening on track are a little bit slower, but uh, that's honestly alright. Let's keep on watching here. Magnuson's really our best bet at a good position here. And just letting him do what he needs to. Obviously, got to watch those tires. Let's see where we get. Uh, yeah, Schumacher's falling back a little bit there. That's all right. We got him on some fuel saving strategy. Sector one. Watching all of that. Yeah, so Magnuson just fell back. Let's see, front wing has taken a lot of damage. Alright, so this is where, this is the first time I've had uh, some different stuff happen with my car. So, what we're going to do is slow this on down. And we're going to take a look the at the car. Yeah, that car needs uh, to come in here. So, what we're going to do is obviously we are going to switch out the wing. 
think we got that, uh... We have that confirmed? Uh, let's see here. We can't... Ooh! I did not know we had that option to retire a car. Neat. Okay. So let's see where we're at, uh... Gonna go ahead and hit the pits. Let's see, we're gonna obviously need to uh, hit this. We need to replace the wing, cobots to replace. Yes, we need that replaced there. Tires. Uh, let's see, our strategy was to go to hards. We're gonna go ahead and switch to those just so that we are ready to go for that. Uh, let's see here, estimated stop time. It's gonna be a little bit long, but not too bad. Okay, go ahead and confirm that. Box. And we'll watch him box. come in, but uh, we definitely got to get that wing box. redone. And while he's doing this, we're going to tell him to uh, conserve everything, Charge just up. so he's not pushing too hard with the uh, lack of downforce. Going to go ahead and let uh, Schumacher run with a little bit more fuel there. If you don't need it, no lifting coast. Yes, so there we go. So I'm gonna watch our pit stop here, see what we got going on. Hopefully we're gonna get our wing replaced. I think we hit the right button, so putting those hards on. Got those tires. Ah, so there's not a wing animation, but we did replace it apparently. Okay. That's fine. That works. I was hoping we we're actually gonna see a bit of uh animation there. Uh, we got the leaders behind us, so we're probably going to go a lap down. Uh, so we're going to let him start pushing here a little bit. Yep. So we're not going to push him insanely, but we're going to give him the tools he needs to just get stuff done as he needs it. So we're going to let him do what he needs to do here. Uh, taking a look at Schumacher here real quick before we start uh, going up. He's got 27 laps before he needs to come in. We're good on that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and accelerate time here. Leclerc's probably going to get past Magnuson, although Magnuson has new tires. But uh, we'll just let that go, obviously. We'll see if we can make those hard tires last all the way to the end. It's going to be tricky, but it is possible. And as long as we don't get any more damage, we should be good. Taking a look at Schumacher. He's in 15th here. I'm going to go ahead and do 16 time here. Let everything mosey on. That's Magnuson hit the wall really bad there. Yeah, definitely a lot of issues. So he's going to end up coming in and pitting. Let's see. Switch on over to here. Alright, we're gonna leave him on those right there. No child, no uh, tire change needed, in my opinion. If we gotta do front wing, we got some minor chassis damage, so I'm not gonna do anything with that, obviously. Box, Kevin, box. So I'm gonna let Kevin get back Go in box. here. So definitely a disappointment because uh, Schumacher really doesn't quite have the pace, although currently he's in 13, so he's not doing too bad. So here comes Magnuson again. He's going to get that fixed. He does have chassis damage from that crash. So not sure why he's crashing here, but uh, having some sort of issue, obviously, with the car. He's getting pushed out of the way or something. So... No tires stop, just getting the car fixed. There he goes. Nice animations on uh, the pit stops, other than the fact that you don't really see any damage get fixed. But uh, still, it gets the point across, which is nice. We got 37 laps of the race in. So that's going to take uh, Magnuson pretty far below. So, what we're going to do here. Obviously, we got some issues. Gonna let him kind of just chill here. Leave him on standard, but uh, just let him know to chill on the car and uh, not to push it too much. Alright, taking a look over at uh, Schumacher. 
We're actually above where we need to be so we can tell him to uh, Let's just put our head down. do some pushing here for the next few laps. Alrighty, so go back into map mode here. And uh, let's continue on our fast forwarding. It's almost time here for Schumacher to uh, pit. So taking a look at where we're at on strategy here. So he's starting to get a little bit uh, low on fuel. We'll go ahead and let him start doing some saving More there. Post, please. For this lap though, I do want him to uh, deploy here and uh, get a little bit of that speed back while he's running. Taking a look at switching back to s go ahead and attack while he's at it. I'll push. Copy. So that our in lap is as good as it can be. We're at 45 laps in with 63 in total on the race. So uh, we're going to be obviously switching to softs. Lifetime on the tires expected is 26. We're going to see if that works. Uh, we're going to see if we need to. Uh, Think we're good on car parts. Yep, sure are. Go ahead and confirm that. Box now, make a box now. So we want a really good in lap here box if we can get it. Just get a little bit more time. So we're starting to in, uh, near the end of our fuel. You can see getting red just letting us know that hey, right now we are close to the end of the race with fuel. So keep an eye on that. Alright, Lonzo doing Understood. some interesting stuff in the back. Yeah, Here comes on, Mick on. for his stop. As soon as he gets out, we're going to put him on conserve on the tires just so he can save the uh, reds for the uh, end of the race here. Watching Magnuson too. He's got 59% left on the hards. He's still saving those. So keeping those tires nice and cool. There we go. He's back out on track here. Run a little bit wide there. Interesting. All right, gonna let him turn him to be light on the tires here. We're gonna let him keep on deploying for the rest of this lap here, so we can watch him in two times the speed. Just let him kind of use up some of that extra energy he's got. Doesn't really have anything for the guy in front of him, but uh, I think the guy in front of him's uh, a few laps above him, anyways. But just to uh, get some get some lap time here as he goes, get those tires warmed up nicely. All right, gonna let him go back to neutral on that. Start saving, and able to get that spot back with those uh, soft tires. Nice, it's a good job there. Got plenty of fuel looking good. Gonna go ahead and switch on over to map mode. Alright, we got ourselves a safety car here. Safety car. So we got Schumacher, he's gonna stay out. Uh, Magnuson, though, we're gonna go ahead and pit with where we're at. Where we at uh, lap 50 or 63. We're gonna bring him down and get him some soft tires. And that should help him out with the rest of the race. Ooh, let's see here, actually. Instead of using a brand new thing of tires, which is 32 laps, we're going to put him on uh, one of the other compounds. It's going to still be soft, but that way we're not uh, spending excess resources Box on that. that. I'm going to tell them all to save their fuel. Go ahead and uh, harvest all of that. Try to do some lifting coast and then focus on apex speed. Is that Alright, gonna fast forward through this here, watch the minimap. Everybody getting put together here. We got Magnuson, he's gonna be pitting here. Uh, there might be some wave arounds, so we'll see how that goes. Not sure exactly how that is all gonna take place, but we'll just watch it here on the minimap. See who gets to go around, who doesn't. Looks like everybody's going to get uh, into line here. Looks like Claire is still on pit road. He might be done for the race. So that's going to give Magnuson a chance to get a spot back. 
which is exactly what we want. Okay, let's see here what we got here. Uh, Magnuson's not been given the chance to go by. So everybody's just moving along still, getting this all sorted out with the safety car here. Oh, yep, Magnuson is uh, moving along, so that's good to know. Well, Schumacher is. Magnuson's right behind him. So everybody's catching up here to the safety car. Safety car's getting ready to come in. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and slow things down here just a bit. going to pause it, actually. We're happy with you pushing. Copy. Kev, okay, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Got right, got our guys moving along here. Safety car is in. Off. Copy. Magnuson should get a spot from Charge Leclerc off. here in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get fast forward in here. Everybody's back to racing. A little bit more lumped up, so that should give Schumacher a chance to move along here. Magnuson's got some fresh tires. That's going to help him out a little bit. And as I said, he should pass. Yep, he already passed Leclerc, so that's a spot he's gained. Even with all of his issues, so that's good to know. Watching the laps here. We get uh, plus three to the good. Watching here, watching here, watching here. We're going to let them add it. Lap 60 here. Alrighty. He's wearing kind of thin on his tires, so we're not going to have him push any further on that. Let Magnuson stop being aggressive. And we're going to watch, uh, watch those tires here. But let them be aggressive here. Hopefully get some spots as we go. Schumacher is our highest sitting guy right now. Watching those tires though. Don't want those to get too worn. See if anybody yeah, needs to pit and stuff as well. Go ahead and... Oh, just happened to run the race. Okay. See if any spots can be gotten by Schumacher here on the last thing. Or is it just the final lap? Ah, just the final lap for for Stappen. I get confused by that. I think, wait, the race is over? Nope, nope, nope. It's just uh, final race. All right, we got those guys. And have given them permission to go full blast with uh, ERS fuel and everything here on the final lap. So uh, let's watch Schumacher here. Got a bunch of traffic in front of him here. Come on, Schumacher. You got quite a bit of time. We're giving you all the resources you need. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. I'm racing hard. There we go. Got the spot from Norse. He's going after it though. Hey, alrighty, not bad. Got a spot away from Norris, so that's good. That's good. Check a flag. Yep, Magnuson. Oh, Magnuson got another spot over the TV. I mean, that's a good recovery in my book for him. So after having two incidents with the wing, good result. Alrighty, here taking a look at everything. Looks pretty good. Got some good points and data there. Ooh, we got a development point for Magnuson. That's going to be helpful. Alrighty, all of our finances and information. Alrighty, so now we got... This is back at the shop here, so we got all of our information. So let me go down here. Suspension, uh, that has been completed manufacturing, so that's good to know. Uh, we got uh, ATR period ending. So what's uh, that? That's uh, Edamax testing period will be ending in one week. I've attached a report on how many 
how many days we have left that it does so we need to use those up okay uh, post race overview that's going to give you the basically the the journalistic style of things where everybody is at points and stuff so good to know uh, this is a difficult race da -da 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 -da. so this is the one of the board guys he's disappointed with how it went my own too uh, then we got uh, information about uh, Schumacher so let's see could be better compared to the grid we should design a new car part to improve this attribute and keep us to the high speed cornering yada, 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 yada. okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in design a new car part front wings already taken chassis I think we're going to need some new chassis I think we're going to need some new chassis let me see here how many chassis what I need to see is how many chassis do we have right now so we can manufacture we got we only have one chassis designed currently so design what do we have we got rear wing I think let me go back here we have a new front wing what was the rear wing what do we got we got a new rear wing okay we got a new front wing rear wing we got a new one of those side pods uh, suspension we had our third generation of the suspension uh, we haven't done anything with underfloor that would help us with uh, top speed acceleration low speed medium speed and high speed that's cornering uh, the side pods would help us with engine cooling top speed and acceleration rear wing would help us with DRS etc chassis uh, would help us with uh, top speed and acceleration there is uh, what that's going to do also engine cooling so let me see what do we need to work on here underfloor is kind of where that is we got got quite a few underfloors going for us but we do need some low speed we do need more cornering is uh, what it sounds like from the guys and also that can get some better top speed and stuff so we're going to use up uh, all of our ATR hours here on this part just get those all used up as we're ending uh, ending our period in which we can use them uh, we have some leftover MAU uh, hours so we're going to go ahead and use those up just to get this part designed uh, design focus we can go through here and what we can look at is what we want done so we want optimized aerodynamics low speed or high speed and then balanced is what we can do as well we can come down here and uh, let's see downforce low speed medium speed etc and we can watch what we want to do so what we want to do is get cornering down that's going to take away from top speed but we want to be able to get that ooh, dirty air cord oh yes yeah, so, so you can see the graph on the uh, right side this is very important stuff here we want to improve all of that so drag reduction we're not really going to focus on that because we want to get these moved up so that's gonna mess around with all of those we're not gonna get much airflow sensitivity let's see here that's gonna help with all of those airflow sensitivity so that's gonna help out or we can go all the way and that gets us that really doesn't help us it helps low speed going all the way back on that that really helps us out so that's what we're going to develop. We're going to get every last one of our engineers that's available on board. We're going to get rushed on this so that we can get it, all this stuff done uh, before uh, the end period here. So get that developed. So that's underway. Uh, manufacturing here. What do we have? I need to go to the warehouse. Got to find that button. Uh, warehouse. This tells us what parts we have. So chassis. We've got three chassis left. The one is damaged, so that one's not no good. Uh, we got four front wings left. Uh, we got one of the brand new rear wings and six of the old that we need to probably use up. Side pods. We got plenty of those. Underfloors. Got plenty of those. Suspension. Got plenty of suspensions that we can work with here. Go to our calendar. What do we got? We got uh, rear wing manufacturing complete, so that's going to be ready tomorrow. Okay, good. Suspension manufacturing complete for S3, that's been completed today. We're going to have sponsorship obligation. Just looking at all this stuff we got to keep track of here. 
uh, down here, sixth, uh, season sixth or above. That's where the board would like me to be. Uh, currently, we have one point so far in the season, which definitely better than what it could be. Uh, taking a look at these guys here. Uh, they're looking pretty good. Let me go down to drivers. As I said, there's a ton of stuff you can go through and manage. It's it's pretty insane. So we have one unused development point here. So obviously we want to use that. Uh, cornering ability to maintain speed through corners. Uh, reaction to this ability to uh, respond to events at high speeds. This allows the drive to accelerate faster out of corners and pull away faster when the lights go out at the start of the race. Accuracy, control, smoothness. Adaptability, uh, the ability to adapt to pull weather on track, overtaking, uh, defending. Hmm. I think we probably want to do something with pace to accelerate faster. The corners pull way faster when they let's go out. Uh, ability to brake more efficiently. This allows drivers to brake later when approaching corners to improve lap times without running wide or causing racing incidents. We're going to go with that one right there. Braking very very important very helpful. I like it. All right. Let's see here any resource points Oh, we got a resource points for Schumacher uh, Let me see here. We had info on what we needed to help him with uh, Let's see here. I have updated our circuits. We also noticed if any performance of could be improved very good Thank you, sir So go back to our drivers here, and we can help Magnuson with defending I think, right? Let's see. Racecraft, overtaking, defending. We're going to help him out with that. So there we go. Got him an extra uh, points to help with uh, defending. Taking a look at all these guys. Let's see. Currently, contract is expiring uh, this year. Contract expiring this year. And then all the other guys working there as well. So that's good to know. Uh, our faculties here. We've got Nice, big, beautiful faculty there. Looks good. Car development. What have we got going on? So we could improve our project capacity here. Uh, wind tunnel. We could improve this. This would help us with uh, all of our wind tunnel stuff. Uh, the CFD uh, simulator that helps us with capitual fluid dynamics. To simulate airflow over aerodynamic car parts during high process. So that could help us out with uh, testing. Uh, suspension simulator. Upgrade that's going to be 7500 That's a lot of money. A lot of money. This is the cheapest one, and this would help us with engine cooling and brake cooling. That's going to help us out with uh, side pods, chassis, and front wing. Wind tunnel uh, helps us out with drag reduction, downforce, airflow. Just taking a look here at what we got available. Cheapest upgrade right there. This would help us with project capacity and development uh, speed. Car manufacturer part manufacturing would go from six two would go up two percent. So lots of upgrades we can do there. Staff faculties. We got the team hub that's being uh, done now. That's going to help with morale. Uh, scouting race simulator is currently done. We got forty percent more. Uh, experience gain from the drivers we could upgrade that again to get even more which we are going to do go ahead and get that upgraded want to get our drivers the best info they can obviously nothing beats being on track but if we can help them out even more hey we'll go for it uh, looking at our faculties and uh, management we got the boardroom that's helping the race confidence and attractiveness we got hospital the hospitality area right there there's a little bit that we could do that's going to help with team attractiveness. Help us improve team attractiveness. Okay, that would be 1800 for that. Uh, weather center, really haven't seen any need for that, honestly. Helo pad, uh, that would help with team attractiveness. Plus also sponsored targets payout would be better. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that built. It's fairly, fairly cheap. Uh, memorabilia room, this helped it helped with team attractiveness and morale. We could up upgrade that to get a little bit more, but I think we're good on that for right now. And the tourist center uh, has been upgraded, and currently uh, we're getting some visits and stuff from people. So a lot of, lot of stuff that we can go through. Board, all that stuff. Finances, standings. It's insane how much stuff there is in this. There's a lot to keep an eyeball on and manage. Next circus is Miami, so that's really cool. Taking a look at our qualifying stuff obviously want to reach q2 that's what the sponsors would like 
Uh, they want us to get 12th or better or reach qualifying three. I think we can reach qualifying three, so we'll go ahead and try and do that. Uh, fastest lap. They would like us to get the fast lap. I don't think we can do that. Uh, taking a look at qualifying position streak. We got one. We got one of those, so not too bad. We just need to be able to make sure we can uh, execute on that. All right, we're going to go ahead and move along here. Looks like it froze just a little bit. Yeah, because we got a uh, that rear wing came in. So we got some mail. So the rear wing has been manufactured, so we're good to go. So both of the cars can run the new wing, or we'll just run uh, one with the new wing. I'm going to give the new wing to Magnuson here. I think, let's see, top speed, rear wing. I thought we had a wing. It wasn't the, the front wing. What wing did we do? I think it's the rear wing. Let me see here. There it is. Found it. Okay, so this is going to help him out. Low speed corner in. See that? We'll, actually, we'll, we'll do it on. We'll do it on both cars. Honestly, we don't. We only have. We only have two of them. But I, we need to see what we can. Uh, what we can gain from it. So. Very good. See if we need, if, see if we want to manufacture any more of them before we uh, start manufacturing. We got plenty of others that we can replace it with, so that's good. Uh, go to car setup. Da 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 da. Yada yada yada. So that looks much better. Alrighty. Uh, continue to progress. We got sponsorship obligation here. Let's see. Urgent rear wing low stock. Right. We got that. Urgent low wing rear stock. Yep. Thank you. We know that. Uh, the Hedo pad that got finished. Very good. We can visit the Hedo pad, and that's going to help us uh, get all of that stuff. So, back continuing on. Aerodynamic testing period ends. Alright, there we go. So, Team Hub, that's been upgraded. Uh, front wing design. Let's see, now it's ready to be manufactured. Okay, we got that completed. So. Uh, continuing on, go back to my mail. What do we got? We got uh, board confidence check in, keep performing as well as blah 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 blah, yada yada yada. Three months in review. Uh, monthly finance report for month of 2020 is complete. Please follow the link to our uh, data, data, data so we can look at finances. Season balance here uh, looks like we're above expected, looks like. Projected outgoings, starting balance, current balance. So I mean, we're not we're not losing money, so that's good. We could definitely do more upgrades, apparently. Uh, monthly balance. So we're making money. Good. All right. So, with that in mind, let's do some upgrades. Just go ahead, suspension simulator. Let's do it. Uh, pot test center. Let's do it. Just get those updated there. All right. We spend a lot of money. Not spending any more for the uh, current thing. All right. ATL period today. Da 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 da. Uh, we have our use. Let's see. We have a whole new allowance. So we got a brand new allowance of stuff that we can use now. So that's good. Uh, 92 hours of wind tunnel. So we used up all of the stuff that was left over. So that's good. Uh, race review, team hub upgrade, we got that underway, uh, front wing design complete, so we need to check on that, see what we got going on. So, this is our front wing design that we want to manufacture, do we want to rush it? Sure. How many guys do we have to work on it here? Apparently we have a lot. Oh, sorry, I was doing car parts. So this is our front wing. We're going to go ahead and rush it and do two parts. And we're back recording. As I said, there's so much stuff, it takes a while to figure it all out. So anyways, so we got that under manufacturing. We got that taken care of. We got some more mail. Uh, Miami Grand Prix is coming up. 57 laps, yada, yada, yada. Clear skies. So that's all looking good. So 
Let's simulate this session. We'll see what happens. All right, Kevin Magnuson had some really good lap. That's going to let us get on some uh, drive development. He gained 500, so that's good. Uh, performance bonus, control, accuracy, that's all that stuff. He's doing pretty good there. Okay, nice. All right. Moving on. So we're still under wet conditions, it would appear. So that's good to know. We go ahead and let these guys simulate what they got going on looking at uh, car setup obviously we're in the rain so that's gonna make things a little bit more different so there we go track uh, acclimatization he's only got 37 percent car part knowledge setup confidence so it did go up so we like that alrighty so nice Hello, views of Miami there there we go alright back to sunny day here, so let's see what we got. So pretty good confidence here. So we got some good confidence in uh, braking and optimal on traction. So we're good on that. See what we can do here with everything else then. I think we're gonna stuck with where we need to be here, honestly. Let him do what he needs to do. So this is the last session. We're going to give this guy hard tires. There we go. And we're going to let these guys have as many laps as they can get on track. He's pretty good on the acclimatization. Uh, he's pretty pretty uh, good on the track stuff. So let's see. All right. So that all looks decent. that more in the middle there see if uh, that helps us out any righty and we're gonna let him run same amount of laps and we're gonna let him use a uh, set of hard here though just so we don't uh, use up other stuff righty and we're gonna let these guys practice to qualifying That's finished. Kevin Magnuson, really good lap time there in ninth. So he's uh, got all the way acclimat. Uh, he's got the track down. Car parts knowledge and uh, pretty happy with the setup. That looks like he went down just a little bit. Uh, performance bonus is going to be pretty good as well. And uh, setup confidence for Magnus uh, Schumacher looks good too. So sunny on race day. So anyways. That's kind of going to be it, guys. Honestly, just kind of wanted to show you how much stuff we had going on. You can get the... Let's see. What do I need to move? Mr. Straits there around. There we go. See if we can move any of these guys back to where they were. Alrighty. That should be good for him. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it. As I said, there's a ton to manage. It's definitely a very fun game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know, guys, if you have any experience with this game and uh, what you think of it. Uh, are there bugs in the game? I kind of think so. Some of the cars do seem to be kind of janky with uh, the driving, and some of the stuff seems a little bit uh, manufactured, like incidents and stuff. But other than that, the amount of detail that you get to manage seems to be a lot of fun and if you really do enjoy not racing but managing and just overseeing a race team it's a really good game in my opinion got it for uh, under 20 bucks uh, off of Amazon so we really did uh, like that price for it it's definitely fun could there be more in it uh, I think so in some ways I think there could be a little bit more I'm not sure exactly what features there could be more of. Seems like it could use a little more polish, but I think uh, overall, the amount of stuff you can manage, a lot of fun. The amount of stuff that you have to pay attention to, 
definitely really good if you have that managing uh, mindset for gaming. It's definitely a very fun game. So anyways, guys, I would recommend it. You can get it for a really good price off of uh, Amazon. Obviously, get the disc. In my opinion, it's the best deal. But uh, I really enjoyed this game. And uh, also, let me know if there's any major updates or differences from 22 to the 23 version of this game. Uh, that would be rather interesting to know. But anyways, I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of it. And thank you so much for watching The Combustion Gamer. Bye-bye.